Thank you very much for joining us for this evening's webinar, Dollars and Cents, The Wheel for Successful Business. My name is Joe Gartner, and I'll be your host. Today's webinar with Dr. Mark Skousen will focus on what creates a successful business and the foundation for a successful business. Dr. Mark Skousen is a former economic analyst to the CIA, nationally known investment expert, professional economist, university professor, and author of more than 25 books, including his most recent, Investing in One Lesson. He has had guest appearances on ABC News, CNBC, CNN, and Fox News. Since 1980, he has been the editor-in-chief of the award-winning Forecast and Strategies. He is also the editor of three weekly trading advisory services, Head Funds Trader, High Income Trader, and Turnaround Trader. Now that I've taken you through the introduction portion of this webinar, why don't I turn the mic over to our featured guest, Dr. Mark Skousen, whom the Mark Skousen School of Business was named after. Mark, welcome to the webinar. Well, I'm glad to be with you, uh, Joe and Nicole, and with your listening audience, wherever they may be, probably all around the world, knowing Grantham University is uh, so well diversified with lots of military people and business people and so forth, and uh, it's a delight to be with you tonight. I'm calling from uh, the greatest uh, financial center in the world, New York City. Uh, I live in New York, and... Uh, I'm here at a, uh, a dinner tonight, and so I wanted to take a little bit of time and just talk to you a little bit about the uh, Skousen School of Business. It uh, is certainly an honor for me to have a school named after me, uh, and uh, I hope I can live up to that. And I know that the Grantham University is working hard to develop a unique uh, business program. We talked last night a little bit about some of the differences that we offer. Uh, one is we we take uh, personal responsibility very importantly. So we offer my own uh, uh, personal finance course of dollars and cents that all business students are required to take and business majors and uh, others. As many of you may have taken this course or are planning to it will really put your life in order and uh, it has a lot to say about uh, uh, saving money, about education, about investing in the stock market, starting your own business. All of these things are really important and it's really business. So one of the key points that we want to emphasize in the Skousen School of Business at Grantham University is that it really is business that drives the economy. And you really have to have a vibrant business. Uh, those are the people who are going to hire people. Those are the people who are going to pay the taxes to allow government and the welfare economy and, and you know all of the public services that you get is because the private sector has been so successful that uh, Wealthy business people, middle class, and everyone else, we, we can pitch in and we can make a difference uh, uh, in the world. And so we want to emphasize the importance of business. And getting a degree in MBA is one of the great ways to, uh, to become employed, to work in the dynamic economy. You know, in today's world of 9% unemployment, and that doesn't even include discouraged workers, um, we, we really need to focus on areas where there's a real demand. And one of those areas is business, MBA program. People who get MBAs have a very good chance of being employed. The unemployment rate among MBAs is under 3% compared to 9% nationwide. So uh, that's why we call ours the, uh, the wheel of successful business. The wheel of success business is... Uh, the way we like to put it uh, on the screen, I'm sure you can see uh, that wheel. And we have, uh, you know, I came up with this idea of the wheel of fortune. I call them, I told my wife, I said, we should call it the wheel of fortune. And she said, well, it's already been taken. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, more, more of the wheel of business success is what we're talking about here. And if you go to most MBA programs, you know, they just go on and on with all these courses that you need to take a course in marketing, you have to take a course in accounting, you have to take a course in finance, you have to take a course in organization, organizational behavior. And yes, we offer all of those programs uh, in our MBA just like anywhere else, but we organize it in a way that you can understand 
what's going on because I have personally run many businesses and I've made my share of mistakes like anybody and, and I've had a few failed businesses but most of my businesses have been successful and uh, are profitable and are expanding and uh, as a result I have learned that you really have to have a well-functioning wheel uh, and if you look at this wheel with the consumer in the middle surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, we have six, one in the middle and then six of them going around uh, the wheel. I want to emphasize how it's important while, why each one of these parts of the wheel are important. And you know, if one or two are missing, you know when you're in a car with a tire that doesn't quite function properly, you can feel it. It's the same thing with a business. In a business, if you don't have each one of these sectors functioning properly, your business is going to suffer. So the whole idea behind the MBA program is to create a successful wheel where each one is functioning properly. And you'll notice if we can go to the next one where we emphasize customer. We want to start listing the customer as number one. There's a lot of debate as to what is most important in business. Well, is it the, uh, is it the investor, the shareholder? You must maximize the return of the shareholder. And others say, no, 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 the most important thing is the employee. You've got to make sure your employees are happy. If your employees are happy, aren't happy, you can't have a successful business. And others say, well, you know, it's really uh, society and the environment. Others say it's the competitors. Others say you've got to have top management. Well, we argue that if you are going to make a list of most important, what, what, what of these seven categories is the most important? And our argument is that customers come first. And the reason customers come first is because if you don't satisfy your customer, you're not going to have the money to pay your employees. You're not going to have the stock options to pay your managers. You're not going to have a stock that is rising in price. Your suppliers aren't going to supply uh, your, your uh, funds, uh, your supplies, uh, uh, because you can't afford to pay them. Uh, accounts, uh, accounts payable is going to be a serious problem. And if you're having problems with government, you're going to be investigated. Uh, you could be shut down, you could be fined, and if you're not responsive to what your competitors are doing, you know, then that's, that's a problem as well. But if you must treat your customers as number one, and if you don't treat your trust customers right, nothing else matters. And so that is really ultimately the important thing to remember, whether you're an employee, a manager, a supplier, a competitor, or, or what have you. So. Let's just briefly, if we can, go through each one of the areas of this wheel that I have developed, and we're actually trademarking this uh, to uh, emphasize the uniqueness of this Skousen wheel of, of business success that we've emphasized here. So once again, we emphasize the customer's number one. That's why it is in the center of the wheel. And then uh, the next uh, look is, is, you know, we're just going to kind of go around the wheel. It's not that one is more important than the other. But take employees. Uh, I remember reading a, reading a funny book called The Customer is Number Two. And, of course, I don't agree with that. But the, the whole idea of the book was to treat your, your employees the best. And if you treat your employees best, then they will treat their customers really well. And of course, there's a lot to be said for that. You want to incentivize your, um, your, your employees to make sure they respond properly to, to customers, and I think that's really important. Um, uh, John Mackey, the CEO of Whole Foods Market, is a very good friend of mine. He comes to, he's our official ambassador to Freedom Fest, my annual conference that I have in Las Vegas. And I'm sure a lot of you would be interested in coming to that uh, sometime. Grantham came last year as one of our sponsors. If you go to freedomfest.com, you can read about that there. But, um, you know, uh, in, in the, John Mackey and Whole Foods, they incentivize their employees to make sure that they 
wake up every morning, come to Whole Foods, and are excited. And that's the key. If you're not excited about your uh, the work that you do, uh, you, you can always tell because how do you feel about your job Monday morning? That's really the question. If you get up saying, oh my gosh, i got to go to work, then that's not the job for you. You need to work to get something, a better education so that you can change work. Well, after employment, then we, employers, we talk about the suppliers. The suppliers, of course, are really important as well uh, to and, you know, Walmart, you talk to all of these uh, big uh, Office Depot and so forth and all of the products that they have there, they have to have a good relationship with the suppliers. So, so that is important uh, as well. The, the next category is science, uh, society, and government. We're talking here about the local community. It's having good relations. It's, it's living up to the rules and regulations that society is has developed. And you know, this is a very painful area. This is a very expensive, this is becoming a much more expensive area to uh, you know, make sure you cross every T and dot every I with compliance with the government regulations and the uh, Environmental Protection Agency and OSHA and so forth. And after a while it gets to be a pain, but it's a necessary part of doing business. And you don't want to get into trouble where you're fined and have to worry about those sorts of things. But the key is to work with the community. That is really the emphasis that we have. In the case of Whole Foods and John Mackey, they donate 5% of their profits every year to local foundations and, and organizations. So I like that, that approach. The next one is the competitors. Of course, you've got to know what your competitors are doing. This is something that is discussed all the time in, uh, in, in various MBA courses and dealing with game theory and all of that sort of thing. We, we, we'll have a discussion of, of that. And uh, you know, all of our books, by the way, fit into these categories, these various categories, like we have ethical and the business ethics courses in the science and government and game theory is in competitors. And then the next one, next category is investors. And of course, that's where we teach you finance and, uh, and, and the importance of understanding uh, stock market. You know, the financial markets are critical to today's uh, in environment, uh, today's economy, more so than ever. So in my economic logic textbook, which is uh, required reading for all our MBA course uh, I have a whole chapter on the financial markets. It's that important with stock options, investors investing in, in, uh, in 401ks. You have to be educated about what's happening in, in the marketplace. And then, of course, uh, our last category is the managers. Uh, this is, these are the executives. And of course, uh, lots of you will become managers. If you have an MBA, you're probably going to be a, a manager, and you want to know how to manage. So our courses in business management and organizational behavior. All of that is included in this, as well as the part of employees. So it's a well-rounded course, as the wheel suggests. Uh, every part of it is essential. And so that's more or less uh, what, what the Allison School of, of Business is all about in the wheel and so forth. So with that, I'm going to open it up to a few. I, I think we have a little bit of uh, time for some questions. Uh, so um, uh, it was uh, very good uh, talking to you and giving you a more or less a summary. That's pretty much what I wanted to cover tonight. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Scott.